This year's winner of one of the Presidential Awards for Faculty Excellence Early Career Achievement is Dr. Subhashni Ganapathy. For Subhashni, it's all about the human-computer connection. And here at Wright State, her research has become a driving force in transforming the field of human factors engineering. I primarily focus on looking at how do we use mobile technology, mobile computing. How do we use those technologies to improve human performance and user experience? Subhashni directs the Interactions Design and Modeling Laboratory in the Department of Biomedical, Industrial, and Human Factors Engineering, where her high-quality, multidisciplinary, independent research in the area of human-computer interaction has garnered over $350,000 in external funding. Through her deep understanding of the technology landscape, she is bridging the gap between academic research and industry needs. According to Nathan Klingbeil, Dean of the College of Engineering and Computer Science, Subhashni is already becoming a leader in teaching, research, and service, despite just over two years in her faculty appointment. Before joining Wright State as an assistant professor, I was working for Intel Corporation for close to six years. I'm able to now uh, contribute to my alma mater in a very meaningful way, and so that gives me a lot of satisfaction. Subhashni is also a prolific scholar, having produced more than 40 papers for peer-reviewed journals, book chapters, and conferences. And she has filed three patents in the area of mobile augmented reality. In the classroom, she incorporates many creative techniques because as a proud Wright State graduate, she wants to drive innovation and transform education by making it more accessible to students. I think it comes back to the students. It's the passion um, that students bring, that we bring, having my research students, having my students graduate. That is, I think, the best uh, experience that I've had.